Hi everyone, my name is Karsten Arnold and today I'm going to show you a technique in Lightroom that lets you create a blue sky from a gray sky. Now that's a technique that I use quite often to to liven up the picture, make it look like it was shot during the daytime. It's not going to be 100% perfect because you can't quite emulate all the light that's hitting the ground area and, and the rest of the buildings in this particular shot, but it gets you pretty close. And if you shot, you know, landscape or architectural work and you, you shoot on an overcast day, this is going to be a constant problem. Now, you can definitely do a sky replacement using Photoshop, but that's a more involved technique. And if you don't have that particular skill of being able to blend multiple images together, then this is a pretty quick and dirty and easy sort of way of doing that. So in this particular image here, what I've got is a pretty overcast sky you can see and the foreground is it's pretty flat so we're going to be able to not only fix the flat look of the foreground but we're going to put a nice blue sky in here now let's just take a step back and and think about the type of files that you would have to shoot to create this if you're shooting in JPEG this is simply not going to work for you and the reason being is that a JPEG file just doesn't contain the same amount of information in the highlights and in the shadows to be able to do this technique properly. So you really do have to shoot this in RAW. And if you're not shooting RAW by now, you really should be getting there because if you're using Lightroom and you're shooting in JPEG, you're just not getting the same uh, amount of um, mileage out of Lightroom that you possibly can. If you're shooting in RAW format, you're going to get a lot more detail. You're going to get a lot more that you can actually work with. So that's a separate argument, and uh, well, I don't have to go there anymore. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a blue sky effect in this area. And to do that, we're going to use the adjustment brush. And you can see my adjustment brushes are set everything here to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a special adjustment brush here that we're going to just brush in all of the, the sky effect. I won't show you everything at first because I'm going to show you where the magic really happens. First thing I'm going to show you though, however, is I'm just going to back out of this for a second. And I'm going to show you how much detail there actually is in here. So to do that, I'm just going to take my exposure slider and I'm just going to darken the image. And you can see the amount of detail that's actually in the sky here. There's quite a bit. And we're going to use that to create the blue sky. What's going to happen is the areas that are the darkest in here are going to become the blue parts and the little lighter areas in here are going to become the white puffy clouds. Now that may seem confusing but you'll see in a moment what I'm doing here. So I'm going to back out here. I'm going to go back to my exposure here which was where it was shot roughly. And I'm going to, first of all, adjust the um, foreground in here so that it looks a little bit more brighter, like a, it was shot on a, a bright sunny day. Now, we won't be able to get this perfect simply because just the amount of light that comes down you know, from the sky in a, in a sunny day, it's going to be, it's going to have nice shadows to it. It's going to be a completely different quality to it. So we're going to get fairly close. And to do that, um, I'm going to open this up a little bit more. I'm going to I'm going to add a little bit of brightness to this whole thing, and I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit because typically on a bright sunny day there's a little bit more contrast. The shadows are open about as far as I want to go. I might want to open up the shadows a bit here in the tone curve as well, just a tiny little bit. And to me that would look more like it would be on a nice sunny day. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our adjustment brush. I'm going to create one. Just click on that. Opens up the adjustment brush palette. And I'm going to change the size of my brush to fairly large. You can see that I've got my flow at 100%. Feather is at 50. Size is 20. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the exposure and I'm going to just bring it down considerably. And I'm just going to click inside here. Now you can see the effect that it's taken similar to what I had done by just reducing the 
exposure overall. But now I'm just painting this into this area here. And I'm just doing a rough job. Don't worry about getting too close to the trees here. We'll get a smaller brush to that in a moment. Just do the bigger areas first. Like so. And I'm going to change the brush down. I'm just using my mouse to change that down. You could also use a slider here if you want. Now you can get a bit closer into the buildings. Just fill in those areas. Like so. A little bit closer in. Don't worry about going over top because we'll fix that and I'll show you how to fix those mistakes in a moment. Then you can make a smaller brush and just get into those little areas where we can show some sky coming through the trees here a little bit. Click a few times in between the trees. You don't have to worry about being too, too accurate with this because we're not going to keep the same exposure value. It's a little bit on the dark side, so we're going to fix that. But we'll fix it after we add some color to this. And that'll be the little hidden gem there. You, you'll see where this whole effect really takes place. All we're doing right now is we're just darkening up the sky detail just to get a little bit more definition out of these clouds. And then we're going to turn that into a nice blue sky with some cloud detail in it. Okay, closer to the buildings there. Okay. So let's say, I'm going to just show you first of all, if you went over this, let's say you went over an area like this here over the top, and um, you had gone on to something else, and uh, like this, and now you you want to go back and clean this up. Then you go over here to the Erase tool, click on that, and then you've got some separate sliders here for that. I'm just going to make that really small, and I'm just going to go over that and erase that little overlap there, like so. Good enough. Okay, so before we add some color to this, I'm going to use this dehaze slider. This came out in the, uh, I believe it was version 5 of Lightroom. It's a great tool to have and to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the dehaze and adds a little bit more contrast in that area. Um, and I quite like that effect. Now, this is where the magic really comes in. We're going to go up here to the temperature slider and we're going to decrease that. We're going to go to the left and we're going to turn this gray into a more of a blue color. So watch that pop in there. There you go. Oh, there's some blue sky. Bang. There it is. So there you got some blue sky, but it needs some help. You know, it's a little bit fuzzy around the edges of the buildings here and within the trees. That's okay. We'll fix that and it's maybe looking a little bit too blue. So what we can do is we can just back off the exposure to make this look a little more realistic. It's getting there. Somewhere around there. Now, to me, that's a whole lot more believable than the uh, a little bit darker areas. So now let's just sort of fix up these little mistakes here around the trees. I'm going to back out of the eraser tool and I had brush A for painting that in. And then I'm just going to go, actually what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to reduce the amount of flow from 100% down to 50%. And I'm just going to very carefully paint between these branches here of the tree. Maybe add a little bit more flow, about 75% roughly, somewhere there. And I'm just going to paint in amongst these trees. And it just starts to fill in. It looks a little more believable in there. around the branches here, through the trees a little bit, a bit closer to these branches. You get the idea. So there you go. There is my blue sky effect from originally a pretty boring looking gray sky. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.